Bishop Richard Malone will meet with Pope Francis at the Vatican later this week, and at least one observer thinks this could be the beginning of the end. Good evening, everyone. A journalist in Rome is reporting Bishop Malone's resignation is imminent. I team chief investigator Charlie Speck spoke with that reporter about the concerns he's hearing inside the Vatican. For more than 20 months, a sexual abuse crisis raged in the Diocese of Buffalo without much notice at the Vatican. That's partly because you have a 1.3 billion member church and lots of things going on. But now Pope Francis appears to be very much up to speed. And Vatican correspondent Christopher Lamb thinks Bishop Richard Malone will soon pay for it with his job. But obviously this matter is now in a head in Rome because uh, the bishops of New York State are due to meet Pope Francis um, this week on Friday. My understanding is that the resignation is expected. Malone's spokeswoman says Bishop Malone continues to serve as the leader of the diocese, and 7 Eyewitness News has not independently confirmed Lamb's reporting. But his sources in Rome say the Vatican has taken notice of Malone's controversial handling of sex abuse cases. How are they sort of characterizing Bishop Malone's uh, management here of the diocese? I think it's very serious um, concerns about what's been happening. You know, when the, the chief shepherd of the diocese is, is not leading the flock or is actually um, causing damage, then there is a problem, and I think the Vatican is seeing that. Malone has been under increasing pressure to step down since August 2018. Documents provided by whistleblower Siobhan O'Connor revealed he allowed two priests to minister despite allegations of sexual misconduct. Malone also concealed the identities of more than 60 accused priests from the public. Then in September, Malone's other secretary, Father Richard Biernot, provided the I-team with secret recordings in which Malone called another priest, quote, dangerous, but allowed him to remain in ministry with no notice to parishioners. Those revelations led to state, federal, and Vatican investigations. The absolute visitation into um, Buffalo is complete. Uh, it, it is a, a fairly damning assessment of Bishop Malone's governance and handling of the sexual abuse crisis. Lamb cautioned that if Malone resigns, the Pope has to accept his resignation and announce it, which may take a few days. He thinks the recent Vatican probe may have forced the bishop's hand. I think he's been encouraged. That's my, um, my instinct, my take on it. He's been encouraged to do it because, of course, he's been quite uh, belligerent in, in, in saying that he wants to stay on. Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News.